Hello, everyone. Now, after the roughing operation, let's see how to create a finishing operation. For this, I'll be using the operation called 3D Parallel. Let's take a look at how to do it. Go to the 3D menu in the top toolbar and select Parallel. Alright, first we need to select the tool. It's important to note that for a parallel operation, a ball nose end mill cutter is typically used. The main reason for choosing a ball nose cutter is that the rounded tip allows the tool to smoothly follow the surface without leaving sharp steps. Alright, next, just like with other operations, we'll go to the geometry menu and select the area where we need to perform the operation. Alright, next we'll go to the Passes menu and set the tolerance. You can also select options like Machine Steep Areas and Simple Ordering based on what suits your operation. After that, you can set the Pass Direction, I'm setting mine to zero. You'll also need to set the Step Over, and this value can change depending on the tool you've selected. You can set the Direction as well, and many of these settings can vary based on the specific area of the workpiece where you're performing the operation. Next, you can check the linking menu. Here you can change things like the safe distance. Similarly, you also have the ability to change the leads and transitions. Alright, now you can see the toolpath has been created. Let's take a look at the simulation.